my name is Lias Kasi Saudi and I'm here at Glastonbury. Yeah, well, since we put that album out, we put out uh, the Wet Up EVP and Touch the Leather single. Um, we've got another one coming out very shortly called I Am Marky Smith, followed by a side project with uh, the ERC, who are based up in Sheffield, kind of more electronic. And then we're going over to America to finish recording uh, the new album. Should be ready by early next year. I think we've probably got about six or seven songs, but the way we work, we kind of bring lots of ideas into the studio, record it once, record, it, record everything ten times. You know? Despite maybe outward appearances, we're quite serious when it comes to the uh, production of the record. You know, we'll, we'll redo things a lot, so it can be quite time consuming. No? Yeah, we were over in New York in uh, a few months ago. A few months ago, we became friends with uh, Sean Lennon, who offered us his services and his beautiful big studio up in the Catskill Mountains uh, to, to work with. Uh, you know, so it's a kind of no-brainer doing that, I guess. You know, I think it's a fine thing for a bunch of guys like Sabian to say to, to be saying that rock and roll needs to kick up the arse. You know, uh, because I think they're. Uh, well, uh, I think they've kind of they've long since had their day, haven't they? Despite the fact that they're headlining Glastonbury. I mean, their music doesn't seem to me in any way kind of uh, council culture, underground. Doesn't, doesn't doesn't essentially seem rebellious to me in any way. It's massively, massively commercially successful. I heard somebody describe it as the uh, soundtrack to uh, the Guy Ritchie film that's being played in every like young like Londoner's head or whatever, you know, and I thought that was an accurate description of how tasteless the music are. I've got nothing against them as people, but I mean, yes, it needs a kick up the arse, but were that to occur, I imagine they would end up outside of the building.